You first want to grab a cat litter pan from Dollar Tree. Yes, you heard that right, a cat litter pan. I ended up having to duct tape it because on the way inside from bringing in all of my Dollar Tree goodies, I accidentally broke this, but it is totally fine. Just duct taped it and it was all good. First things first, I am going in with Waverly Chalk Paints in the color Plaster. I'm just going all around the inside and outside, painting this with two coats. You want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat, and then just allow everything to dry. Next, I found this adorable placemat, also came from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place that right down and then I'm going to place the front of the cat litter tray on the top and I'm going to trace the bottom of the litter tray right on top of that placemat. Once you have that traced out, go ahead and just cut that tracing out. Now I just placed that placemat again at the bottom of that cat litter tray, finding the best placement for it. And then using my Dollar Tree adhesive glue, it's a great substitute for E6000, so it is a stronger hold with a mixture of hot glue. I'm just going to begin gluing this placemat all around the edge of that litter tray. And add more glue as needed. You want to make sure that this is nice and secure. So I wanted to add a little embellishment to the top of the placemat. So I had this lace ribbon, also came from Dollar Tree, and I just began hot gluing that all along the top side of that placemat. I then also made a cute little bow out of some lace ribbon as well, and I just hot glue that to the top left corner of the placemat. Look at how cute that is. Now this part is optional, but to be able to hang it, I ended up drilling some holes on the top side of that litter tray. However, you could always just hot glue some nautical rope on the back side of the litter tray, but this is what I decided to do. So I just drilled the holes, grabbed some nautical rope, placed them right inside of those holes, made sure I created a very strong knot and now you got yourself a hanger. I then placed in a filler so I'm just using some shopping bags just place those right inside of the little pouch and then grab some faux flowers from Dollar Tree and just place those right inside. Be creative with this it doesn't matter what colors you choose and then go ahead and just fluff out those flowers, make it look pretty. And of course, my projects wouldn't be complete without weathering up my projects. So I'm using this brown acrylic paint, just doing very, 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 very light brush strokes with this acrylic paint all throughout the project. And there you go, guys. Now you just created this adorable, wall planter holder on a budget. I think this came out so cute. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.